But you clicked on this video because you want to improve in your aim and reach that next rank. Well, you clicked on the right video. Today, I'm going to be showing you some tips on how to improve in your aim. Some things to think about, such as movement and prediction, as well as just identifying what kind of an aimer you are. And with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Now, obviously, before we get into anything, we need to identify what kind of an aim style you have, whether that be a full on arm aimer or a wrist aimer. Now, if you're an arm aimer, obviously, predominantly use your whole arm to aim and you have a much wider range of motion. So you be swiping your whole arm across your mouse pad. If you're a wrist aimer, obviously you aim with your wrist and you have a little bit of a lower range of motion. You're able to make a lot of micro adjustments a bit better but you might need a higher sense. Now, I'm not saying one aim style is better than the other. For like, for me personally, I'm more of a wrist aimer just cause back in the day, I used to have a really small ass mouse pad. So I had to kind of adapt and aim in a certain way. Now, while you're aiming, if you feel like that you're under shooting or you feel like you can't really catch up or keep up with your target, uh, you should probably up your sense a little bit and just kind of adjust from there. If you feel like you're more overshooting from either flicking or tracking, probably lower your sense. For you guys asking what the hell my sense is, it's gonna appear on screen right now, but I really recommend that you do not just copy my exact settings because everyone, and I mean everyone, will have a different preference. So you can just use my sense as a starter. I really advise for you guys to figure it out yourself and get a better feel for it. Here are my settings if you're curious. The one thing I'd really recommend is you enable high precision mouse input. This is generally what my crosshair on all heroes is. The next thing I want to go over is movement, as well as using your opponent's thoughts to your advantage. So basically, if you move without intention, you're not going to be hitting your shots as often as you'd like. Let me paint a picture for you. So aiming like this is the same as aiming like this. So when you aim and shoot at the same time while moving your mouse you're honestly just throwing yourself off even more and it will just make you miss a lot more this isn't specifically on soldier but that's just an example and in general if you tend to find yourself in 1v1 situations and you end up becoming really shaky and nervous and then you just end up missing everything, it sounds really dumb, but try to calm down and focus on landing your shots. One thing you really have to realize is that in the 1v1, both of you are in the same position, so the other guy is probably just as nervous as you. But if you calm down and focus on landing your shots instead of panicking, even if it takes just standing still, just do it. A long time ago, I broke this habit, and once I realized this, I began to just win a lot of my duels more often since I was able to calm down and just focus on landing that headshot. Now moving on from there, we're going to be talking about using your opponent's greed as well as them being scared to your advantage. Now believe it or not, you don't have to be the best aimer to land some of these shots. For example, if your opponent gets you one shot, what do you think will happen a lot of the time? Your opponent becomes way more confident and they tend to do a lot more stupid things which means if you take this opportunity they are going to just walk in a straight line re-peak and that is your opportunity to land a free shot now let's say you are the person getting someone one shot in this clip i'm going to use i shoot this zen once so you really just have to think where is this zen most likely going to go there's a health pack to my right he probably wants to grab that so he's not one shot anymore all I really have to do here is just place my crosshair near the health pack and I just have to click when he crosses it and I've already done like 90% of the work. I just have to react in time. Believe it or not, a lot of these situations happen a lot in your game and by playing more and noticing these situations, you can most often just land these easy shots and help you secure kills. Next, I want to go over how to move against certain aimers or aiming styles. Uh, more specifically, things like moving against a Cassidy compared to a Tracer. And then I'm going to go a little bit into projectile as well. Or go against any high damage hit scan hero. 
you really want to AD crouch spam. And if you haven't watched my video on how to properly do that, you should go check it out. But you don't want to spam it as fast as you can. You want to space them out. And then eventually when they get to the point where they have to reload, this is a perfect chance to just blow them up for missing everything, or it will give you time to escape. Now, when it comes to tracking type of heroes, such as soldier or tracer, wide strafes, but not too long will be your best friend. Now, why do we do this? instead of ad spamming well because they are spray type of heroes if you do ad spamming all they really have to do is just aim around the middle and eventually you'll kind of just walk into it and vice versa you don't really want to do any wide strafes against a widowmaker or a cast because it will be a very easy pattern to read and they have an easier time to line up the shot when it comes to projectile heroes, this isn't really something I can tell you straight up just because of the nature of a projectile hero. To put it in simple terms, going against projectile heroes is a bit tricky because, well, when you put yourself in their shoes, they're kind of predicting where you are going to end up. So if you're moving to the right a lot, they're going to aim like a couple of steps ahead of your head to line up the shot. But to strafe against that, you have to predict when they're going to shoot and then move to the other side. But if the projectile aimer is anticipating this, he could also just anticipate you counter strafing the initial movement and then headshot you. So it's kind of like you have to predict his prediction, but also predict that he's going to predict you and then predict that. So it's kind of a really tricky one to go more into detail on each specific hero matchup sure for has a very detailed guide it's an overwatch one video but a lot of them still apply to this day honestly besides like maybe one or two things so i really recommend you go check it out and the very last thing that i really want to emphasize is practice 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 yes i know terrible we have to play overwatch 2 to get better at aiming but i mean if you really are serious about becoming the best soldier na you have to get in the lab and just grind out the workshops personally i like grinding any of the aim trainers in like the workshops the community has made rather than using kovacs or or aim labs just because i feel like a red blob can't really replicate what the variations of hitboxes that overwatch has there's really no easy workaround around this unless maybe you buy an aimbot but yeah, if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. If you guys learned something or took something away from this video and enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, tell me if I missed anything. As always, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Peace and love, baby.